Lockheed Martin 1.7 trillion dollar F-35. Imagine a fighter jet so advanced it seems like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. This is a jet that costs more than the entire GDP of some countries, soaring at mock speeds with stealth capabilities that make it nearly invisible. Lockheed Martin's F-35 isn't just another piece of military hardware. It's a symbol of cutting-edge technology and national defense strategies and a topic of heated debate over defense spending. With a staggering price of $1.7 trillion, the F-35 is more than just a jet. It's a statement about where the future of aerial combat is headed. Since it was first introduced in 2001, the F-35 has been a divisive topic. It is often used as an example of how inefficient the American military system is. It is well known that the jet was 10 years late and almost 80% over budget due to many technical problems. Bill Maher. Uh, you mentioned Canadian conspiracy theories that are certainly on a lot of people's minds. And uh, with all these balloons getting shot down, uh, it's interesting. Some people think it's aliens. That's, you know, I guess it's always going to happen. Why an alien would choose a balloon to fly? Mar was off by a couple hundred the billion. Through the Germany chose to buy about 40 of these jets for about $8 billion, even though they were controversial. Following Chancellor Schultz's statement about buying the jet following Russia's invasion of Ukraine, other nations also joined the group. Greece, the Czech Republic, and Singapore were all interested, and Canada bought 88 planes. After big sales from Finland and Switzerland in 2021, there was a big rise in demand. Why are countries all over the world eager to get the F-35, a fighter jet that has been called a failure? Not only is this question important for the U.S. and its friends, but it's also important for every American taxpayer. An amazing $12 billion is spent every year on the F-35, making it the Pentagon's biggest project to date. People in the U.S. have been putting money into this project for more than 20 years, often at the cost of other military and domestic needs. What's the trade-off? A huge amount that goes into the hundreds of billions of dollars. This program is about more than just a fighter jet. It shows how strong and healthy Lockheed Martin is as a giant in the arms business. It was mostly sales of weapons that brought in about $66 billion for Lockheed in 2022. This huge company makes more than just jets. It also has weapons, defense systems, warships, and more in its arsenal. It's a giant in a field that has more to do with national security than ever before. In 2020, the Center for Strategic and International Studies released a study showing that private contractors took about 58% of the Pentagon's budget. This was the highest share in 20 years. At its heart, the F-35 is a big test for Lockheed and the Pentagon. Will they keep their promises? The situation is either or. Either the F-35 is a terrible waste of money and time and a great example of what's wrong with the defense industry, or it's a smart investment that puts the U.S. and its partners miles ahead of their enemies. It's no surprise that Lockheed Martin and the Pentagon support the more positive view. Lockheed says the F-35 is the most advanced fighter in the U.S. military's fleet and is always changing to stay ahead of threats. Lockheed's VP and general manager for the F-35, Bridget Lauderdale, says it is the best of its kind. Air Force General Michael Schmidt, who is in charge of the program at the Defense Department, says that the jet is not only useful but also necessary. Schmidt talks about how important it is to have control of the air and war from an office with a view of both the Pentagon and Capitol Hill. He said that being in charge of the skies was necessary for success. The F-35 fighter jet is not just an expensive decoration, despite what many people think and what celebrities like Bill Maher say about it. It actually works. About 960 of these jets are now built by Lockheed Martin, and about 630 are in the U.S. military. These jets have not only been sent out, but they have also shown their strength in battle more than once. The F-35 hasn't been tried in long-lasting battles against advanced military forces yet, but it has a lot of cutting-edge features built into it. For example, stealth technology could help troops avoid being seen, and a high-tech data-sharing network could connect U.S. and allied forces, giving them a big military edge that could help them outsmart and beat their enemies. Yes, the F-35's trip has been harmed by delays and cost spikes. 
But these problems are caused by the new ideas that have slowly but surely impressed governments and pilots around the world. These traits had not been noticed much until recently. The F-35, which is also called the Joint Strike Fighter, was actually first thought of as a way to save money. As a result of the end of the Cold War, the Pentagon tried to make a fighter jet that was more cost-effective and better at its job. The idea was to have a single design for an airplane that was light, stealthy, well-armed, and easy to fly. This design could then be changed so that it could be used by the Air Force, Navy, and Marines, similar to how a car frame can be used for different models. Lockheed Martin was formed when Lockheed Corp and Martin Marietta merged in the 1990s in an effort to save money. At that time, military companies were merging to protect themselves from lower spending. Lockheed had already learned the art of getting big long-term contracts and running complicated cutting-edge projects, while CEO Daniel Tellup was in charge. Lockheed Martin won a highly sought-after deal from the Pentagon in the late 1990s to build the Joint Strike Fighter. However, the project quickly turned into a mess of problems and failures. From the start, Lockheed and the Pentagon ran into a lot of technical problems. The marine version of the F-35, which was made to take off vertically, was especially troublesome. This feature caused a lot of problems for engineers, which is why the uniform chassis idea was thrown out in the end. By the end of 2009, Lockheed had only delivered four of the 13 test planes that they had originally promised. This was because the number of hours worked on each plane had gone up by about 50%. To make things even more difficult, the Pentagon chose a concurrent method to the program, which meant that Lockheed had to keep making things while also adding new features. This method required frequent updates and changes to older models, which made costs go up a lot. Over the next 10 years, the F-35 continued to have troubles that got a lot of attention. In a battle in 2015, older F-16s did better than they did. The jet's engine, which was made by Pratt and Whitney, got so hot that it turned sand and grit in the air into glass inside the plane, which hurt performance and meant that changes had to be made. As new features were added, the engine also had trouble powering the jet's cooling systems. The millions of lines of software code needed to run the F-35 were very frustrating, and they often needed to be updated and fixed because they had bugs. The original estimate for the F-35's cost was $233 billion. By 2021, it had nearly doubled to a staggering $416 billion. Lockheed Martin's future looked uncertain because the U.S. was leaving Afghanistan and the defense budget might be cut. They also predicted that sales would go down, but Russia's invasion of Ukraine changed everything. Military budgets and desire for the F-35 went up, even though it had some problems in the past. In 2019, an Air Force squadron used the F-35 against an ISIS arms depot in Iraq, showing how well it could fight. On the other hand, it can do more than just fight. The stealth technology in the F-35 is meant to get through powerful air defense systems like Russia's S-400. It is also part of a larger defense network which works like Apple's ecosystem and creates an alliance effect that makes contact between U.S. and allied air defense systems easy. The third thing that makes the F-35 strong is its advanced sensor and communication systems, which change the way wars are fought by making data and instant contact better. The F-35 is a full-coverage surveillance system that brings together data from many sensors to give a clear picture of the fight. Because of this improvement in technology, F-35s can quickly share specific information about the battlefield and serve as the hubs of a huge military communication network. This is truly a terrifying jet, one that will rule the skies. So that is all the time we had today, folks. Hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon on your way out. See you all next time.